And we didn't know that the particles that would be produced by fission are so terribly damaging to human health. And that's the story of why we made such a terrible mistake. But it should actually be aware of not only of what the accident produces, but what the normal operation of the reactors in Japan were already doing to the population and what reactors in this country are doing to our health. But now we know that the nuclear reactor and normal daily emissions are doing the same thing to our children that we did with the bomb testing way back in the 1940s and 50s. And the way we know this is that radiation and public health project, we have been measuring the teeth of the newborn babies that fall out when the baby, you know, is 10, 12 years old and the child loses the baby teeth. And we have collected over 4,000 baby teeth, uh, you know, from different parts of the nation. And we find that the ones who live within 40, 30, 40, 50 miles downwind from a nuclear reactor have the highest strontium-90 in the nation. In places where the babies live far from a reactor, there is no strontium-90 in their bone and in their teeth, and therefore they are much healthier. And that's another problem with this problem, because nuclear energy is intimately connected with reactors that produce the plutonium from uranium that is used in the bomb. I hope to see the nuclear plants converted to alternative energy by mainly deep rock geothermal energy where you drill a mile or two down into the hot rock, send out clean water, it becomes steam, and you can use the whole nuclear power plant, the turbines, the generators, everything, the transmission lines, the land, everything, and you can save 80% of the cost of a whole plant, and you can convert any plant that uses steam to generate electricity using turbines uh, to convert them to uh, alternative ways of producing steam.